Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of Plants vs. Zombies. Now we're going to continue on with level 2-8. And it's going to be a nighttime level. We're going to finish up the rest of the nighttime levels for, world, for level 2. And then, um, then we're probably going to start level 3 today. So, as far as this little level goes... <laughs> You notice that guy with the afro and the sunglasses? That's like the Michael Jackson version. Of, <laughs> the Michael Jackson version of, um, of a zombie, I guess you could say. So basically, what that zombie does is it creates... It starts walking backwards from where usually where all the zombies start. And then it will summon four zombies next to it above below and left to the and to the left and right of it if you destroy the main zombies then all of the respawning zombies will stop you know so that's the best way to beat it um you just got to beat the head zombie to stop the whole thing from respawning come on pop off now <laughs> and finally i was like why is it taking so freaking long no, finally all right, so basically, two eights. You know, it's based, uh, for the most part, it's not that difficult. I mean, and bye bye, zombie head. Hello, body on the floor. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much what's gonna happen today. Today's episode, we're gonna do two eight. Tomorrow, we're gonna do two nine. I mean, today we're gonna do two eight, two nine, probably two ten, and then um, we'll have something else to do too as well. And then we'll have some of uh, level three to do. Level three takes more uh, place in um, let's see, what is it called? It takes it takes place in the backyard. Um, for the most part, it's not that difficult to. And bye bye. <laughs> okay, so I gotta get rid of this guy. Gotta get rid of this guy with the cone head. You know, come on. Come on! It's taking so freak. Oh, here's a here's our first Michael Zombie one, and he got eaten by the, he ate that that uh, dizzy shroom. What what is it called hypno shroom? Yeah. So just like any just like any other um, zombie, if he gets controlled by that hypno shroom, then he completely does goes the opposite direction and attacks any other zombie in the way. So. As far as the clones and stuff, I'm not sure if it creates clones, though. That's one of the things I'm not sure of, in terms of... I think it might just attack the zombies. I mean, it might just attack the zombies and then that's it. I'm gonna replace that one because I don't really have it. And another huge wave of zombies is approaching! Great. I don't have very much. And there's one right there. Jeez, I can't plan it on anything because the stupid graves are. Oh, this level was really short. I'm worried about that one on the far end. Maybe just the ice thing will shut, slow it down, slow everybody down. Stop it! <laughs> there we go. And he dead. <laughs> oh, away, you stupid duplicating zombie! Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Try to get rid of all these other zombies first. Okay, so far so good. I think he'll- Yep! And he's dead. Alright. So now we have the Doom Shroom. <laughs> yeah. Which one it, which is exactly what it implies. Exploding everything into peace- into ashes. Just like the cherry bomb and all that other stuff. You know, except it costs a little bit less. You know, notice that it costs 125 instead of the 150 50 for the cherry bomb, so. Um, for this level, I'm probably gonna need that guy, so... I don't think the Hypno Shroom will be very helpful. I don't have, uh, the... whatchamacallit... the... the... gosh, what are they called? The football guys. I don't have any of those guys in this stage, so I don't have to really worry about any of that. This stage is quite long, though, I have to say. You know, so there's gonna be a couple of flags in this one. I know of it. It just seems to make sense. Okay, so... Yep, yeah, two flags. Okay, so where are you? Yeah, hurry up and just die already. 
We all know that you're gonna die, so... Stop prolonging the inevitable, you know? Alright, so... Basically... Let's see... Very soon now, he should, his head should be popping off. Just leave it in that middle section. Just in case we have the middle section we have to take care of. Waiting for some shrooms to hurry up! <laughs> Give up your son already. What is taking so long? There we go, finally. So yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna happen today. Um, today is Sunday, so... Oh, it was Father's Day. Other than that, I don't really do very much today. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to, like, rest up and for that trip that's coming up this week on Wednesday through Friday, so... Anyways, like I said before, I'm not gonna be able to be in... I'm gonna try my best... Actually, I, never mind. I tried... I'm gonna try my best to get videos up for Thursday, I think. But, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to guarantee anything because, well... Come on, hurry up. Yes, there we go. Okay, so, come on. Kill that zombie with your spit. <laughs> Definitely killing the cone head thing. Finally. Come on. One more. Yes, okay. Alright, good. So I think we're good for now. I just not need, you just need to get rid of some of this stuff. I think I made enough. I didn't give myself enough room. Oh, and, this, and the mushrooms are mushrooming. <laughs> Just get rid of this guy. Get rid of this thing, too. Always get rid of as many graves as possible before the end. Okay, another coin there. Nice. I think we're doing fine. Like I said, make sure to always get rid of as many mushrooms. Oh, here. Good. Nice. So there's our diamond that's worth a thousand if you catch it. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna try to get rid of this this cone head guy right here. The longer range ones are really good against those cone guys. And he's about ready to die, and he died. <laughs> okay. Another huge wave of zombies approaching. <laughs> okay. Alright. Whatever you say, try your best. You're gonna fail anyways. And there's the Michael Jackson guy. Those uh, shroom guys, the big the shroom, the big shroom guys, though, those guys are pretty good against uh, the Jackson zombie, as we call. Mainly because they're they're able to shoot through multiple targets at the same time, instead of just being able to shoot, you know, one thing at a time. Because if something is blocking it, you know, if another zombie's blocking it, you can't attack it directly, unless something is attacking all of it, or it's from the coming from the side, you know. So. And there is an upgrade for that glue, uh, that shroom, the spraying shroom, and um, we'll be able to get that probably later. Got to get rid of some zombie stuff though. Stop it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of these zombies. Get rid of all the zombies. Okay, we might use the doom shroom thing, but. That one is going to be very helpful. Probably not in this stage, because this stage has... I'm already feel, I already feel like I'm in control, for the most part, with this stage. So it's all a matter of time just eliminating all the zombies, eventually. Oh no, wait, what am I doing? Put that grave, <laughs> put that grave buster away. I'm going to leave the one in the very far end. For the end. And I think he's going to be dead soon. Come on. There we go. Well, he killed two of my zombies. I mean, kill, kill too many. Killed my two uh, plant, uh, mushroom guys that spit. Look at all that spitting they're doing. They're just throwing bubbles and purple stuff. Okay, good. Look at that zombie. Still trying to walk, eh? And he failed. It's inevitable. It's all gonna happen eventually. Michael Jackson zombie getting in the way again. Just die already. And one of those ice plants probably would be very good. Stop everything and anything that gets in my way. Nice. Go away. One of those guys. 
Oh, by the way, the the spawning zombies that the Jackson zombie gives, those don't have very much attack power. Or, I mean, don't have very much um, health for the muscle. And they want to eat my brains, of course. Take a look at all that stuff. <laughs> oh, jeez. And this is just like 110 for the most part. You're just going to use all of the mushrooms and, and items that you use in the... Uh, during this stage, during these stages, to actually beat these zombies, so I'm gonna save that hypno shroom for something else. And another hypno shroom. That's not helping. Come on. And a doom shroom, which doesn't help. Oh, I forgot to mention about the doom shroom. If you just if you use the doom shroom, <clears throat> what happens is you can't plant anything on that doom shroom. So for a little while, so you'll have this like big crater, but nothing will be able to be planted on that crater, so... That's one thing you have to consider if you're going to use the Doom Shroom. Go make sure not to use too many, because it clogs up the whole ground, and then you can't... You, then you can't purchase anything, basically. Gotta get rid of this guy. <clears throat> Damn, my, vo <clears throat> my voice is all messed up right now. Of course, just like usual. Okay, hurry up, zombie. Go. Yeah. Why is this zombie taking forever? There we go. Gotta use the scaredy shrooms at the very back and use these small shrooms in the front. Let's see. Every time you use the grape thing too, you get a couple of points so, as well. So make sure to always use those things whenever possible. And Coneheads is starting to get limp. <laughs> Why do they keep giving me the same stupid shrooms? It's not helping me at all. Sorry, but it's not. Oh, Michael Jackson's back, dog. <laughs> Sorry, but die. See, that one zombie, though, is taking forever. Come on. I can't even hold any more stuff. Oh, that's another thing, too. Once all the seeds are full, all the spots are filled, you can't um, get any more stuff, so you gotta make sure to use everything. If they would stop giving me the same thing, it'd be fine. Okay, there we go. Finally. Alright, so get rid of this grave. I have a couple of ice ones. I'm saving the hypno shrooms though for these, uh, these, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> Whatever those red guys are that are moving pretty fast. Um, the Football zombies, I guess. That's what they're called. Finally. And he ate it, and he's gonna go right back at something, hopefully. Oh yeah, here it is. Here comes somebody. <laughs> zombie again, zombie again. And he's gonna die, because... <laughs> those those big, fat, strong zombies can't take anything, so... And here's the Doom Shroom. <laughs> Pretty much exploded everything. But notice that there is a crater there, so that's... It just acts like a tombstone. You can't put anything on there, so... And you can't remove it, so... Oh, here comes another one of those guys. So, just put one of these things in there. Oh, he's gonna be very helpful. I just need him to last a lot longer. Than... Okay, I think we're good. Okay, well, another hit no shroom. Come on. I'm waiting for him to come a little closer. And he chomped away that zombie goodie. Another one of those stupid things. Oh well, okay, fine. Ice through. Freeze everything in place. Yeah, <laughs> it killed all those zombies in that one area. That's fine with me. Probably take this one. He's taking a lot of damage though. And he ate that hypno shroom. <laughs> Turned the other way around. Just die, conehead zombie. And he's dead. And so is this next one. <laughs> and all those guys died too. <laughs> Except for the purple one. <laughs> the only one that didn't die was the purple one. And, ah, oh, jeez. Those craters are starting to, are starting to really annoy me. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Lots of coins too. Oh, and notice that the ground is healing. But it just takes a while. So, that's something... Like I said, it's something to always consider, you know, if you need to really 
use the Doom Shroom, use it. If you don't have to, um, don't. Because it... Huh? What in the world? How did that happen? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't... I don't know why that happened that way. Okay, gotta get rid of this thing. Yeah, this is the time to bring out all the stuff. Yeah. Freeze everything. Yeah. Should have probably waited a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Another one of those football guys. As you can see, this stage gets a little hectic. And it does get more hectic as it goes along. It's a stupid crater. I can't put it on the craters. <laughs> and all of them turn to charcoal and ash and dust. <laughs> That's good. Alright, so get rid of those things. That would be great. Alright, good. And he's gonna eat that stupid thing. Yeah, that's stupid. Stop it. Stop everything. Yeah! <laughs> Exploded all of those zombies. <laughs> Except that one right there with the, <laughs> the door hinge. So I'm just gonna load that other area with stuff. And there we go. So... Now we have a lily pad. Let's you plant non-aquatic plants on top of it. Alright, so... Looks like the zombies came and attacked your front yard. Now they're trying your backyard. And to top it up, you can't even use your mushrooms. Yep, because they'll fall asleep during the day. Well, isn't that just dandy? Well, of course! Mushrooms don't like daytime, they like nighttime and darkness. Okay, so now that we have uh, all that taken care of, now we can start World 3, or Stages 3. Um, as far as this stage goes, now we can use our normal plants. As, you know, our, we get our sun, we get the, um, whatever that's called, the sunflower, guys. For the most part, this stage is pretty easy. You know, again, we're, every stage they begin, every world they begin, you know, pretty easy for the most part. There's a couple of flags, I think, in the next stage for sure. You know. Okay, so I'm just gonna collect some sunflowers. I usually try not to worry about the lily pads, not right now at this moment, mainly because they lily pad the the enemies that come in the pool section of your area, they don't really have very much effect right now at this moment, you know. There's not usually any of them anyways to really attack. So I concentrate most on sunflowers right now and the um and the ground, the green the grass, you know. If I, if I can, I sneak in one of those lily pads at a time, but I don't usually have too much, too much stuff, you know, going on with the water. And another one of those in the same lane as the other one, <laughs> of course. Why? Yeah. Oh, well, we're just going to use the spud. The spud really speeds, I mean, really slows down all the progress in the stage, but it gives me so much time to actually react to new um, enemies that are going to come. So, another one of those things. If the spud would hurry up, I could get another one. Okay. Well, we're just gonna use the big pea, pea shooters. The double shooters are pretty good, like, for the most part. They're gonna be pretty, pretty good for all the enemies in this area. Let's see, another... Jeez. Well, I can use one of these to get rid of that one. I don't have anything for that one section. I could grab the... No, I don't want to grab anything yet. We'll just use the double shooter. Okay. I think we're good. We're up to 10 sunflowers, which is typically good, but... You know, I try to get as many sunflowers as possible. The more you have, the more, you know, stuff you can buy. So... I got another one here. All the way at the top. I could use the that thing, but I think I'm good enough. Okay, so that that zombie is gonna be like landing in that potato very soon. Yep, and they died. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm good for the most part. I just have to avoid, you know, some of the. Oh, here comes our first zombie in the water. As you can see, it holds a ducky <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Decides just to do it. But let me see. I need to get. A couple of these. You don't need that many. Um, you don't have to worry too much about those zombies for the most part. Um, oh, here's another zombie right here. Go away. Stop eating my sunflower and stop. Okay. 
totally forgot about that other row. Well, hurry, hurry, hurry. Give me some more. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on! And he, oh, by the way, there's only a certain couple of plants that can actually be put on the water. So, just like the sunflower. And it's probably gonna eat that, yep. It's gonna eat that, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's gonna eat that thingy, whatever. The lily pad. I think I'm pretty good, though. I have a lot of flowers. I'm pretty much good to go. Just gotta get rid of that plant now. I mean, that zombie. <laughs> And another huge wave of zombies is approaching, because we all love that. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> so... Yeah, so now... Oh, I forgot to mention something about... Yeah, about the waterfront. Whenever that there's enemies, um... Whenever there's a pool of water, enemies do come out from the water. So that is something that you have to remove and stop. And for the most part... Like I said, this first stage is pretty easy for the, for the most part. The next, next stage will be much harder. Oh, here's another another goodie right here. And it's the squash plant. Basically what this one does is instant kill zombies. But it can only it only affects zombies in the next square... I mean, the square next to you. It can be from the left and it can be from the right. But I don't know, I'm not necessarily sure what the algorithm is though to choose, you know, whether or not if you have zombies from both sides. It should take out the zombies though that are on the left first because those are the more dangerous ones. They're the farthest ones from. Probably should not have done that, but oh well, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> okay, I'm just waiting for some more plants. Uh, sunflower, I should say. Let's see. Yeah, I, I messed up. <laughs> okay, some more sunflowers. Oh, here's a good one. Okay. So we're gonna use our potato buds. Once again, then there's two flags on this stage. I think I screwed myself, though, with that flower. Oh well, I'll just leave it there. Collect some sun and replant something else later. Right now, that's pretty much what, what's gonna happen with this stage. Um, so yeah, I don't really have very much else to say. Oh, oh yeah, now that now I do remember, there was something else I do want to mention about. Uh, um, what is it called? Yeah, I was gonna mention about Kaizo Mario, um, a many worlds, many worlds Mario that I was working on this weekend. I have it done, I just have been kind of shot down because of some really weird errors. <laughs> yeah, those those things have been kind of annoying me lately. I've been trying to been trying to get everything to work for that thing, and I I know I can get it done, I just don't feel like it is getting done as fast as it could. So well that's good. I just put that one there. I can use the squash head guy, but I need a little bit more sun. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh no. Oh shoot. I shouldn't have put, put that there. Well, that was dumb. Well, best to use the squash. Squash that one. Yeah. As you can see, it just squashes one enemy instantly. And uh, for the gargantuans, which are the strongest ones, we will see that in, in uh, the fifth area. I don't have anything in that one section. Gotta put it there soon. Otherwise. Uh, but as far as the gargantuans, they take out half their life. The squashes. Pretty much the same thing as the cherry bombs. Pretty much the same thing as, you know, all that other good stuff. You know. And another zombie bites the dust. Yep. Oh, here's another item. Mini games and like play them from the main menu. Alright. So that's a good one. Um, for the most part. For the most part, like I said, it's pretty easy. This stage is gonna be pretty easy for the for the most part, I think. Haven't seen anything yet though in the water yet section. You can put a squash there. Um, you can plant squashes on the lily pads. Those are could be good things. If you use them there. You can't plant you can't plant the the mole guys, the potato head thing. Mainly because, well, they don't really work. <laughs> I mean it, it really doesn't. 
That's why they that's why they don't allow you to put those kind of plants on them. Like, go away, zombie. Yeah. <laughs> and they capsized and died. Alright. So let's see. Got a couple of potato heads and that one didn't die fast enough. Shoot. Oh well, there's not much I can do about that. And our first flag now. Um, this is this one will probably be our last episode for the day. I mean, last uh, level for the day. I think we got through quite a bit though, for the most part. Got a couple of sunflowers. Oh yeah, newspaper guy, and he's gonna die. I'm gonna leave that uh, mole thing as much as possible. Yeah, walnut. <laughs> Look at that little walnut with its little beady eyes again. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. I actually haven't used him. I don't use him that much. Mainly because I don't I don't really really need him most of the time. Oh jeez. Well, put a squash. These guys are good easy to squash, yep. Bye bye. <laughs> and another one of course. Well I could put the wall I think I'll put the walnut. Oh no. Oh shoot, I should have probably put that walnut there, but oh well. There's not much I can do. Alright, so... I guess I'll put that there. Stupid. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. And that guy's dead. Good. Nice. Alright, so so far we're doing pretty well. Just gotta get rid of those zombies. Go away. Yep, and he died. Yeah, see that guy that charges you because he lost his noob saber for some reason. Um, he's just too slow. Because he also waits time just sitting there like, Oh my gosh, I, I lost my freaking newspaper! Oh, here comes one of those guys too. Well, the easiest best way to defeat them is squash heads. Yeah, <laughs> squash his brain. Wait, wait, no, he doesn't have a brain. What am I talking about? Zombies eat brains, but they don't have any. Yep. Alright, so we have one of those guys and another one of those guys. Oh, I hate them. Stop eating my sunflowers. Yeah, go go eat that walnut. Oh, shoot. I don't have anything in that last area. Oh, that poor walnut's getting eaten up. Okay. Oh, no. And he's gonna hit that plant. Yep. And what's best is to use the squash head to eliminate that. Okay, so there's our next uh, item, the three Peter. It shoots three. It shoots peas in three air lanes, and uh, we'll use that next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye.